Hello everyone, this is Chris Burns from Slash Gear. Today we're taking a look at a device called the Motorola Atrix HD. This is a device that's coming out in AT&T with 4G LTE. Uh, it is very close, very similar to what we've seen from Motorola on Verizon in that it looks very close to the Razer, but here it is on AT&T and it's definitely an upgrade from what we've seen on, uh, from AT&T and Motorola before. Now it's still got a dual core processor comparative to the uh, you know, the past Atrix is to come out, except this time it's uh, far more advanced in, uh, in its abilities. Now, the processor maker is different. This is Qualcomm instead of NVIDIA. This is uh, also a device that is uh, upgraded from then as well. It has lots of nice features, like on the back here, if we ever can get this stuff out here, it is uh, Kevlar, so it's not going to break. It's really nice. The whole device feels extremely rough and tough. Let's go ahead and turn it on side there. There we go. Now as this turns on, you know it's got an 8 megapixel camera on the back. Uh, again, it has Kevlar on the back, so it's uh, rough and tough. It has 4 star eco rating, means it's a very green device. Uh, on the sides here, you got a space down here you have for your micro SIM as well as a uh, micro SD card you can put in there to increase your memory. On the top you have micro HDMI and micro USB. Up here you have a headphone jack as well. On the right you have uh, volume and power. Now what we're looking at here is the first device to be coming out from Motorola with ice cream sandwich right off the bat. Uh, right at the front you can go ahead and mute your device or turn it to uh, vibrate or turn it back to sound. You also have a new lock screen. Now this lock screen is set to go to your text messages, camera, phone, or straight up unlock to your front screen. These can be modified but we're just going to keep them the same right now. We're going to go straight to camera. Now the camera application looks extremely similar to what we've seen before uh, from Motorola in the recent Droid devices. Uh, we'll see if the camera looks a lot nicer from the other end. There we go. You can take photos pretty quickly there. As you can see we are again using ice cream sandwich. We're not sure if these will stick here or not but for now they are. As you can see they are on screen controls by the way. There are no controls in the front or no buttons on the front besides these on screen buttons right here. Now we got a pretty quick quick little thing here. Oh we just got two pages. That's extremely strange. Uh, go into our apps to see how fast we're going. So you can see we're going quite fast there. Um, most of these apps come from Google. Some of them are coming from AT&T. You can see things like AT&T Smart Wi-Fi. Uh, you've got AT&T Navigator in here. Uh, quick is added there for, for video, uh, video chatting. We have voice commands as well. And these voice commands are coming from Say a command. Motorola, so that's interesting. We'll see how that works in their full review as well. Back out here. Um, you can set up Drive Smart, so you can set up things to say when you get in the car, uh, your phone will change so it's only certain controls or only voice controls and uh, other fun stuff like that. And you've also got this widget right here. This widget is new for Motorola devices. You can see how much data you're using. You can add cities to see your weather, time, date, and more. So, pretty cool. Browser allows you to go into this sort of widget right here. Not a really a widget, it's a sort of a pop-up. So you can go to different pages like that. See whatever one you want to go to. Back out front. Last thing we're going to look at here is down at the bottom. Go to About Phone. You'll see that we are running 4.0.4, .4, which is indeed Ice Cream Sandwich. There you have it. Take a look at the rest of the review as we do it this week.